Hey guys, welcome back to Expert Travel Finds. And in today's video, we are going to talk about different type of visa through which you can come to Germany. We are also going to talk about the requirements and the prospects. So stay tuned and let's find out together. First, let's talk about the short stay visa, which is tourist visa, also known as Schengen visa. It includes 26 countries in Europe, including Germany as well. The validity of this visa is 90 days, but if you got a double entry and a, a multiple entry Schengen visa, its validity ranges from 6 months to 5 years. Now that we have known about the Schengen visa, uh, let's talk about the next and the most important visa. If you want to come here for studies or job related purpose, then the national visa is the one that you should go for. And there are various other categories of national visa. And to start with, we will discuss about the student visa and its requirements and the prospects uh, of uh, this visa. So let's begin with student visa. All right. So for a student visa, what are the requirements? The two major requirements of all kinds of visas are a valid passport and a health insurance that's mandatory for Germany. You should require an acceptance letter from the institution uh, that uh, you want to study from in Germany. Apart from that, you need a validated certificate from the highest education that you have done from your home country. And on monetary perspective, it's around 10,300 plus euros that you need as part of the blocked account. And um, that is, I guess, as of 2021. But as of 2022, please check the link uh, given in the description to know further updates about it. You might also be expected to know the German language uh, if your um, bachelor's or master's course demands. Other than that, you might also have to give an IELTS or a TOEFL exam for your um, English language certification. The visa for students is generally issued uh, for uh, three months and once you arrive here in Germany, you are supposed to apply for the residence permit from the local foreigner's office. And this residence permit is valid for one year to two years depending on your course that you are doing. You are also allowed to work for 120 uh, full days um, in a year or 240 half days um, in a year. So yeah, you can manage your expenditure uh, by working because it's very common to have a part-time job along with uh, your studies. Now let's move on to the next visa. Next up, we have work visa for qualified professionals. So the requirements. If you are a qualified IT professional, Germany has a lot of vacancies for you guys. So you, what you need to do is just to crack an interview and get a job offer that will sponsor your visa. Keep in mind the two important things. First, the job offer. And the second, your German equivalent of educational certificate or degree. So another point to note here is if your age is more than 45 years, your gross salary should be more than 45,530 euros, give or take. Okay, let's talk about prospects now. Uh, you will be issued a resident permit. It could be a blue card, depends on your gross salary. And the uh, validity is going to be four years max, but it also depends on your contract, which you'll get. So if it, let's say it's like for two years, your blue card will be valid for two years. The next and uh, quite uh, not well known is the visa for vocational training. There are certain requirements for this as well and the first and the foremost being your age. You have to be less than 25 years of age. You also need to show the school living certificate from your home country to get admitted to the higher institution for uh, this training. Along with that, you are expected to know a German language uh, B1. Uh, so yeah, you have to be well versed with the German language as well. And last but not the least is the proof of sufficient funds in your blocked account. And I, as far as I remember, it's 830 plus euros uh, per month that you have to show in your blocked account. There are also two types of these kind of training programs. One is a school level training program and the another is the company level training program. And for the latter, you are also paid on a monthly basis. That also accounts for the sufficient funds in your um, bank. In case if you have grabbed the training for uh, 
800 euros per month then maybe you have to show the uh, extra amount that is like 30 or 50 euros per month as a bank account balance this training programs generally last for uh, two years and now let's move on to the prospects of uh, these kind of visas if you have completed your vocational training then you can stay here in germany for an additional of uh, 12 months to find an employment for yourself there are 300 professions that you can choose from uh, the ones that are listed here let's say you are not able to find a job from your home country what then is it over no, you can still come to Germany and look for a job. That's where the job seeker visa comes in. There are a couple of extra requirements what we required for the work visa, such as there should be a 900 plus euros per month in your blocked account. You should have a minimum of five years of experience in your uh, uh, desired skill in which you are applying jobs for. And it's not mandated, but it's good that you know a little bit of German, uh, like A1. Uh, that would be very beneficial if you are going to search for jobs in German market. So let's talk about the prospects. So the visa validity is of six months. In that period, you need to find a job. Otherwise, you'll have, you may have to go back to your home country. If you are able to crack a job here, uh, there is a high chance that you will get a blue card, uh, depending on your uh, gross salary which you are getting or a work permit. If you are someone who would like to start a business or do a freelancing in Germany, this visa is for you. So let's talk about the requirements for visa for self-employment. So most important requirement has to be that your product must be of economic interest and has foreseeable growth. It should have a positive impact on the economy. Alongside with that, you should have a full capability of funding your uh, business via your loan or self-funding. Make sure if your age is more than 45 years, you'll have to show the proof of uh, pension provision to uh, proceed with your business in Germany. So the prospects. So the visa will be issued for the first three years. If your idea is a hit and you are able to cover the expenses of, for yourself and your, for your family, you will be given a resident permit and you can also extend it. If you want to join your um, spouse permanently here in Germany, then you have to apply for this family reunion visa. And since uh, your spouse will already be living in Germany and uh, you are applying it from your home country, the major um, chunk of documents will be for your spouse. Like you need your spouse's passport, you need your spouse's employment contract, um, house registration, uh, health insurance, so everything mostly will be required for your spouse. The major prospect for this kind of visa is as soon as you arrive here in Germany, you can start working from day one. And I would also like to mention over here is it's better you go for this family reunion visa along with the along with the application of your spouse's blue card or the work permit in your home country. And also I forgot to mention one thing, you might also require uh, German language certification if your spouse does not hold a blue card or is not eligible for a blue card in Germany. Alright, so that is the end of the video. I guess uh, you have got a fair idea about uh, all the types of visas um, by which you can come to Germany. If you want to know our visa process and the challenges we faced during our application process, then let us know in the comments. Uh, we'll try to make a video for that too. If you found this video helpful, then uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel for more such videos. We also have an Instagram account. I'll link the handle on the screen. Uh, don't forget to follow that. We post some entertaining and informative videos. Until next time. Bye.